day later, we would have ruined the chef's Christmas dinner. Here you go. Ten grand worth of truffles. Thank you. Max, you need to do something for yourself. Go Christmas shopping, get drunk, have a one-night stand. You're confusing me for one of your Navy buddies. Max, you need to get a life. I have a life, Bill. With Fred? Give Chef Delacorte my regards. Hey, Fred. Sunset Hardware. Hello? Hi. Hi, do you sell, um, 16-inch circular saw blades? Yeah, they come in carbide only. Only in carbide. Well, how much are those? 69.95. Wow. Uh, yeah, I, I'll, I'll come by in just a little bit. Okay, bye. Okay. Hold on, Fred. Wait. Nice throw. Hey. Just at least another two by four. There are people that do this for a living. Well, I'm doing it myself. You're stubborn, Max. I'm stubborn and poor. Speaking of money. It's all there. Not that I don't trust you, Bill. I got something else for you. Pickups in China. China? It's in China, China? Yeah, Macau, China. I got a call from a guy I went to college with, Alan Cantwell, big international business guy. What kind of business? He's a consultant. What kind of consultant? I don't know, something that makes him rich. We get together twice a decade, smoke cigars and get drunk. He's agreed to pay us double our rate. Double? We split 30000 if you can leave tomorrow. Oh, uh, okay, uh, what, what are we delivering? I don't know, who cares? You get 15000 Max. Why don't you just go yourself? I offered. He said he wanted a woman. Oh, and could you dress it up a little? Dress it up. I'm a model. Twelve. Twelve. All right. Now that she left, Dr. Claire, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, for God's sakes, Randy, stop blubbering. This is valuable airtime. I may be just some crackpot radio psychologist, but I know what I'm talking about. You need to grow up. Dr. Claire is really putting the whip to Randy. <laughs> yeah. It's your style. Hi. Hi. Mm. So, what do you need, Max? Uh, I just dropped by to say hi. You know, last week you dropped by to say hi. Uh, Carl also needed a headlight replaced. That was a coincidence. And I said thank you. So? So, I'm going out of town for a couple of days. I was wondering if you could feed Fred. It's fine, I'll ask somebody else, it's no big deal. Max, we've been divorced almost five years. Four and a half. And you're constantly here. I am not. Don't you see how, how strange this is? What's strange? What are we doing? Why don't we have to define what we're doing? Is this a Dr. Claire thing? Dr. Claire is a radio doctor. She's a doctor on the radio. You know what? I'm sorry I disturbed you. I'll see you soon because apparently I'm constantly here. Leave the key under the mat. I'm doing this because I like Fred, so don't read anything into it. Thanks. Hey. 
things. Stop being the victim, Randy. Embrace the good things that have come your way. Is the glass half full or half empty? I don't know what to do, Dr. Claire. No, Randy, answer the question. Hey, Fred, you know you don't like it when the boxes come out. However, I have to leave for a couple of days. No big deal. Except this time, please don't pluck your feathers out. That was very disturbing to everybody. Okay. I'm with my little shirt my bag. Uh, Nate's coming over to take care of you while I'm away. He loves when you talk to him. Oh, this trip... It's just very exciting. I'm being paid so much money. I really need it. So, please be good and, you know, ah, uh, coat. Coat. Scarf. Okay. Fred, bye bye, baby. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Okay, don't say goodbye. I love you and I will miss you and have a wonderful. Couple of days. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Never thought this job would take me to China. About Alan Cantwell. Oil business. He's devoted the last ten years to teaching the Chinese government what he knows. That's charitable. And he's been well paid, thank you. Even though the government sought Mr. Cantwell's expertise, they were always resentful. Now it seems they don't need him anymore. So he's leaving? I can see you've never had close dealings with the government here. Uh, no, I just, uh, I've been hired to deliver something and I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to deliver. Well, we're here. I'll let Mr. Cantwell handle the rest of your questions. Excuse me. Are you okay? Fine, fine. Don't worry about me. Actually, bad driving caused the accident. No, I was in that car. You walked right in front of us. Dawson's old. He had a senior moment. It happens. All I'm saying is that maybe you want to be a little more careful. And I'm just saying, if you take a little baby step to the right, you wouldn't be blocking my race. Maxine Carter! Yeah. I'm Alan Cantwell. Come inside. Oh, thanks. Oh, I will take one for Bill. He will appreciate it. The Vanna Room. I know this place. Keep him. You know, I saw Bill eat 42 goldfish in college once. On memories. 
Well, he was very excited to get your call. I'm in a little bit of hot water. I need somebody I can trust. May we have some privacy, please? Who are those guys? Chinese equivalent of the CIA. Why are they here? Keep an eye on me. What did you do? Besides modernize the Chinese oil business? Okay. Look, we've had our differences. Last week, there was a spill in the Gansu province. And they're blaming you? They've taken my passport, frozen my assets. I'm basically under house arrest. If you're going to ask me to do anything illegal, Mr. Cantwell, I won't do it. I'm just a courier. I know. I've checked your background. So why does a district attorney on the fast track suddenly drop a promising career? Personal reasons. Well, I'm here in China at your service. What can I do for you? Deliver my daughter to her mother in Maui. Your daughter? The girl you met in the yard. Your daughter? I'd like her there by Christmas so she can settle in before school starts. All the information's here. Can't her mother come and get her? Not possible. This is going to be a difficult transition for Alice. She's at a very sensitive age. I'm really glad you can do this. You seem perfect for the job. Okay, why? Maternal instincts. All that. Why don't we start over again? My name is Maxine Carter. You can call me Max. I'm perfectly fine not calling you anything. Well, I just figured since we were spending the next few days together... I'm sorry, what'd you say? Your father hired me... Hired you to... To take you to your mother. Mother? He didn't tell you. No! God! God I'm not leaving. I'm not. Okay. Okay. I, just, I had no idea your father didn't tell you. I'm so sorry. I, I think you're handling the information very well. Oh, you do? Yes. Ah! 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 Daddy! Bill, I am a courier, not a babysitter. Well, what are you talking about? Cantwell wants me to transport his daughter back to the States. She's a 14-year-old nightmare. His daughter? What, what? I don't know. She's, she's, she's got anger issues. She's... No, no. What I mean is, what, why does he want you to escort his daughter? Oh, uh, she's in some kind of trouble with the government and he wants her out. Bill, just listen to me. I don't want a kid. I don't want to be responsible for a kid. I'm not good at it. Just give me, like, a, a stock certificate. Give me a rare antique. Give me a donor heart. But don't give me a kid. Max, relax. Let me remind you that I'll be handing you a check for 15000 bucks two days from now. Fly to Honolulu. Spend the night at the Opus in a fancy suite. You make your connection to Maui the next morning. And you're home by Christmas. That's it. Easy money. Fine. Where are my clothes? Items? Thank you. Alice seems to be coming to terms with the move. We'll see. Maui does not have a Rudd Weathers. What's Rudd Weathers? A Rudd Weathers is her boyfriend, very privileged boyfriend. They have plans to form a rock and roll band. 
<laughs> She's a musician. I never said that. I said they had plans to form a band. What's your mother like? You seem like a decent person, Miss Carter. Be careful. What are you talking about? Mr. Cantwell has many enemies. Call me when you get to your mother's, okay? Just put the bags in the trunk over there. Miss Carter, Dawson will drive you. Uh, no, I want to take the cab. It's a little more low-key. Okay, I'm not going anywhere in that. Yes, you are. Seriously, wouldn't my vehicle be more comfortable? No. Ugh, I can't believe I'm doing this. She's my only daughter, Miss Carter. And I love her. Please, take good care of her. Oh, you got goo on my suitcase. Dolphin, give me a sanitary wipe. Alice, get in the cab. I remember one summer when I was like your age, when my father decided to send me to camp in Minnesota, and I was so pissed at him for not consulting me. Camp? Camp Wapahui, best summer of my life. So, you're comparing my situation to camp? No, I'm just trying to find some common ground. Look, if I need to talk to somebody, I'll call Dr. Claire, the radio shrink. Dr. Claire? The radio shrink. Yes, I know who Dr. Claire is. So do 200 million other people who listen to the radio. No, my ex-husband listens to Dr. Claire, religiously. You were married? Yep. Did you dress like that when you were married? I don't... What? Why? Never mind. That was unnecessary. Just don't sound like you know anything about my life, okay? Okay, fine. Sorry. And this is crochet, by the way. We're still gonna make our music together. I'll be coming for you. Don't forget, okay? You're my future. Just text me. Cease! Cease the kissing! Cease the kissing! Oh, stop it! You have no right to do this! And I'm confiscating this for the rest of the oh, trip. Are you insane? You yeah. will get it back at the end of the trip. I hate you. Save it for your mother. I would if I knew her. This time tomorrow, you will be with your mom. Can we have like a five foot buffer sandwich between the two of us? I don't want people to think we're traveling together. What? What's the problem now? Spring Street. We're on the same side as Spring Street. Don't look! Beef medallions, potatoes au gratin, and a vegetable medley. Uh, but for you, we have a boxed snackette. A boxed what? We're in coach. Hey, almost my first class. Well, not with me, you don't. 
trying to keep a low profile. <laughs> Did you pocket the difference? Keep walking. Spring Street. Love your sound. Right on. <laughs> you sitting near us? No, I'm traveling with my no frills granny today. Good morning. This is Captain Yashiro speaking. The tower has just informed us that there are two flights ahead of us. So we'll have a short delay before takeoff. As soon as the tower clears us, we will be on our way. I'm starving. Well, they'll be serving us crackers as soon as we take off. What am I, a bird? Is my name Polly? Gwep? It's trying to communicate. It's an acronym. You said you were hungry. That was very nice of you. Thank you. My name's Max. Fran. Nice to meet you, Fran. How old are you? Fourteen. Oh, Alice is fourteen, too. Almost fifteen. No way. So what are you into? I'm into two things, Fran. My music career and nothing. Nana, could you grab me a pillow? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board flight 324 service to Honolulu. At the time, we ask you to please fasten your seatbelt, adjust your seatbelt, and take table to an upright position. All electronic devices must be turned off at this time. May we remind you this is a non-stop flight. Jokan Gawai, Kuning Name Wood. Niwa Hai, Sa Mi Sing, Ba Ke Hoi Honolulu. Alice, don't you think it's time to go back to your seat now? That's okay, I'm good here. That's cool. We always book an extra seat for our manager in case he wants to come, but he's a no-show, so we're stock and shop. Okay, come on, let's go. Thank you. Alice, thank you. Ow! You need to take your seat now. It's all right. She can sit here. Alice, ma'am, I've asked you to take your seat. Lady, lady, we gave you an autograph. Would that chill you out? is trying to further her career. She seems older than 14. Yes, she does. Can I borrow that book just for a minute? Yeah. Thank you. Don't worry, I'm just giving her her book. Okay. That's okay. I thought you might want to get a little bit of a head start on your homework. What? Maybe her quizzer. Hey, no problem. <laughs> she's a hottie. Yeah, she's a hottie. <laughs> um, uh, homework? Mm-hmm. Dude, what? How old is she? She's 14, dude. with a goal. Oh, I have a goal. Getting away from you. Oh, that's a one-way ticket to Time Out City. She's not my mother, Fran. Sorry. Do you have any kids? Yes, I have a daughter. One. Penny. You named your child Penny? That's a pretty name. Why don't you just call her one cent? Thank you, Fran. Or how about spare change? Quit it. Or uncheap. That's enough.
Pick a card, any card. It's your problem. I don't have a problem. in the aft galley. We need security in Honolulu to take a passenger into custody. Okay, this is highly embarrassing. I'm sorry, but we really have to keep moving. Why, do you get a bonus if you drop me off early? Just pick up the pace. Okay, but can I pay to let go of my hands? Oh, there's our driver. Catwell? Carter? Uh, no, actually. We're the Henleys. Can we go? Sure. Luggage? Uh, no. What about my bags? I've got six pieces. We cannot leave without them. Alice, we're in danger. Alice, we're in danger. Oh, downtown. He was clearly following us, Bill. I'm completely freaked. And totally paranoid. And so we took somebody else's limo. You did the right thing, Max. So here's the deal. I'm going to find you another place to stay. If anyone's still on your tail, they'll be looking for you at the Opus. Great. Okay, can you just make sure that her bags follow us, or else I will never hear the end of it? I'm on it. Just lay low. I'll get you to Maui tomorrow. Thanks. Wait for my call, Max. Look, here's what I'm thinking. Since we're in so much danger from the guy in the plane, why don't you just give him my cell phone and we'll both go our separate ways? Right. I know you think this is all a really big joke, but you're 14. 15. Almost 15. I want this to be over as much as you do. I'd like to get back to my life. You have no idea how much I look forward to saying the words, bye-bye, Alice, bye-bye. I'd like to text Ryan. No. And by the way, I don't know much about the music business, but I wouldn't be putting too much faith in that guy. I mean, at least Red wants to be around me, as opposed to, let me think. Every other person in my life. Your mom wants it. You don't know that. She left me. Now she's forced to take me back. Well, maybe it's not that simple. Are we pulling over? Excuse me, why are we pulling over? Why are we pulling over? I just got a call from my boss. The Henleys are at the airport wondering where their limo is. Oh, so you're probably wondering... If the Henleys are at the airport, who are you? Hey, don't look at me. This is for a deal. Uh, I can pay you for any inconvenience that I've caused. And I really, really apologize for you. Just that we're really in the jam. Yeah? Well, I'm in deep with my boss because of you. Now, what's your name? That's a simple really Look. Six weeks ago, I was busting tables. Now I got a real career. Great. The company gives me a cell phone, a sweet uniform, and in six months, if I don't screw up, full health coverage. Fantastic. But now you and that girl are making naughty on my dreams. What girl? Bye. No. No! Excuse me. You can't 
take my car. Lady, don't do this! Stop! Hello. Nate. Nate, I'm in a jam. I lost her. You lost who? Uh, the package I was delivering was a girl, a teenager, teenager. and... Okay. What are you talking about? I just can't get into it right now, okay? I need you to trace Alice Marie Cantwell, social security number 6660. Oh, are you writing this down? Right. Right. Okay. Uh, ready. Alice Marie Cantwell. Social security number 6660633356. Nice, I'm not a cop anymore. Okay, I'm, I'm a real estate agent. So, unless Alice is interested in buying a condo, I'm not going to start digging into her credit hey, info. I am desperate, and she is armed with enough credit cards to choke a horse. This is my only hope. You know, Max, someday I'm going to say no to you, and it's going to rock your world. Yeah. Am I reading this right? Alice is 14? Yeah, she is. She was born the same year as Penny. Yeah. Oh, God, Max, are you okay? This does reconfirm the fact that I'm completely incapable of taking care of... It doesn't reconfirm anything. Accidents happen. Stop blaming yourself. Now, you need to just, just... I need to get on with my life. Nate, I am getting on with my life. Right, right. You divorced me. You're building a cabin in the middle of nowhere, and now you're chasing after somebody else's 14-year-old kid. Nate, I don't want to talk about this right now, okay? I just... You know what? I don't need your help. Skank. Excuse me? Alice Cantwell's been using her platinum card at a place called the Skank Room in the Pipeline Cafe, 1412 Makaloa. Oh, I thought you were... No, thank you, thank you. Probably a big deal to get into your club, and ironically, I actually don't want to get into your club, but um, I really need to. 
There's a young heiress in your club, and I've been hired to safely deliver her to her mother. So you're a bodyguard? No, no, I am technically her courier. Okay, I don't want to usurp your power, but I'm actually just going in. And I must warn you that from this position, it can get very painful. Lady, you need help. <laughs> oh! <laughs> wow, sorry, sorry. Where did you learn that? Um... The Cavalier YMCA. I will be five minutes. job but I was worried about you you were why you're 14 in a big city all alone and it's worrisome <sighs> so what now where are you dragging me off to nowhere we're gonna stay right here until my boss calls and gets us a new hotel really yeah unless we get thrown out of here because you're completely underage FYI this allows me to party here without drinking booze it's an all ages club There are a lot of cute guys here who are into cougars. Cougars? A woman over 40 looking for some action? Yes, I know what a cougar is. Yeah, what is up with your hair? What's wrong with my hair? You look like an Iraqi freedom fighter. I'm watching you. Don't let her out of your sight, not for a second. We've got too much at stake here. I have you on a flight to Maui at 10 a.m. Thanks, Bill. I want you to come with me to the Czech Republic. What? Uh, you would like it there. Look it off. Uh, you look like the kind of woman who uh, enjoys room service at expensive hotels. Yeah, sorry, pal. She hates expensive hotels, okay? Hey, what are you doing here? I have something I've got to say to you. Prav Maga, my friend. You should stay out of this. Who's this? Hey, Alice, I'm Nate Spencer. Mac is ex husband. Very nice, Max. Thank you. Nate, we're just leaving. You know how I feel about you, but I'm done. I'm done waiting. I'm done being your go to person unless you step up and meet me halfway. Take your drama elsewhere. Get your Mr. hand off me or I'll knock that spray tan right off you. Alice, we gotta get out of here. Are you kidding? I gotta see how this goes down. <laughs> Nate, leave. Not until you give me an answer. What do you want me to say? That I want us to get back together? That would work. This is hardly the time or the place to have that conversation. It's totally inappropriate. Okay, that was exciting. Well, I'm going to go to ladies' room. I'll be back. No, we're leaving. Hello? Yes, we're right over here.
your husband started that fight? He didn't start it, and he's my ex-husband. Right, ex. You know, is he one of those guys that seems all nice and together, but really wears rubber underwear and stuff? Oh, shut up, Alice. Yeah, you're right. I shouldn't talk about him like that. You're the one with the issues. Yeah, I have the issues. Oh. Hello. Yeah. Oh, great. What are you doing? Uh, luggage is here, and I have to go to the lobby and identify it. Those are my credit cards. And these are your shoes. So what, you think if you take my stuff, I'm not going to leave? Exactly. What am I supposed to do, just sit here? In the magazine. I feel really sorry for your daughter, you know that? Don't talk about her. Penny must be miserable. Penny's not miserable. Penny's dead. I'll be sure to call Duvane in the morning, make sure somebody else takes you to Maui. tie doesn't really get over two feet. It's pretty small waves. But if it was anything like it was this morning, I'll definitely be going back out there. Nice. Long, long glassy rides. Real fun. Yeah. What do they call that? That's like Dekine. Yeah. Kind of. You can Dekine. say that. Dekine. <laughs> that works. So what else? Well, uh, last year, I was surfing pipe, and I actually hurt my shoulder. I dislocated it because I took off on a really nice one. It's okay, though. Wait. Sorry. Tell me that one again. Uh, I was surfing this big wave spot. I uh -huh. dislocated my shoulder. And then... You know what? I gotta go. Sorry. Go back to your life. 
Yeah, something like that. Merry frickin' Christmas. <laughs> you know, you could call your mother. That might help. Uh, 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 Dr. Claire, I, I've read somewhere that you've been married six times. True. So? Do you have a point? Well, I, I think it's ridiculous that you, of, of all people, should be giving out relationship advice. Why? I've had six wonderful relationships. How many have you had? None? Right? <laughs> That's not the point. Uh-huh. So let me guess. You live alone with a chihuahua. Wrong. We don't have to Goodbye. listen to this. Are you kidding, Dr. Claire? His father is Nate from Kailua, Hawaii. Nate from Kailua? This isn't happening. Hey, Dr. Claire. So, Nate, how'd you go with the Ice Princess? Ice Princess? Well, I laid it out there, and uh, you were right. She shot me down. You sure did. Well, I have a hunch she's making a big mistake. But you said your piece. Now it's time to get on with your life. Really? People change, Nate. The best thing you can do is remember your ex-wife for who she was. Yeah, she, she was a force, Dr. Claire. Very funny with people. She was gorgeous. And uh, I mean, she didn't just walk into a room. She, she lit it up. Wow. Well, is there anyone on the horizon that might be able to light up your life? No. There's this woman at the office. A woman at the office? What's he talking about? Well, I say go for it. And if it doesn't work out, I'm looking for my seventh husband. That's not funny. trouble what the car's in trouble this is all my fault what no you're a kid you're in like some weird custody thing don't blame yourself i was just saying i should have grabbed the mercedes so what are we gonna do um i, th I think there's a barn up ahead so we can we can crash there we just gotta push this thing uh, okay i'll help you oh i broke my heel just just break the other one. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was nice. Okay, you ready? Yeah. You okay? This place is kind of creepy. So you always put the light on. When I was little, I could hear my parents fighting. I would try to stay awake till I stopped. Until I knew everything was okay. One day I woke up and my mom was gone. Just because your parents have problems doesn't mean they don't love you. Maybe they're just about what's important. Get some sleep.
I think that it, maybe it just needs some water, but I, I found a water spigot. A, a car needs water? Yeah. Max, are we gonna be okay? Of course we're gonna be okay. You're gonna somehow make our 10 a.m. flight to Maui, I'm gonna fix this car, and you're gonna make us breakfast. Okay, where are the room service menus? They are in the chicken van. Max, I, I can't kill a chicken, I'm in PETA. Chickens lay eggs. Seriously? Come on, go get him, cover. Go get some water. Give that jag one more shot. Can I ask you a question about Penny? Um, I don't talk about her much. It's a horrible thing that she died. However, it happened. When she was in the second grade, I went to pick her up from school, and there was a car accident. Drunk driver, ran a red light. That doesn't sound like it's your fault. Yeah. That's what everybody says. Anyway, after that, everything changed. Nate and I, we moved to Hawaii. We tried to simplify our lives. I don't know, it was, uh, it was pushed him away. It wasn't fair since Penny was his daughter, too. He still loves you. Yeah. I killed his child. I don't want to put him through any more misery. Do you love him? Uh, come on, let's go deal with that car. I have a good feeling about this. <laughs> hey, all of it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna get water. Okay. Well, isn't this a sight? Two days ago, you were ready to dump her. Bill. I'm so glad you found us. I mean, the car overheated. We were trying to fix it, and how did you... Cantwell. Gave me a GPS code to Alice's phone. I tracked you. Who are you? An old friend of your father's. That's my boss. Uh... What are you doing? Collecting. With a gun? What's going on? No, it's okay. One sec. Cantwell's gone. He's gone. Two days after you left, the government came looking for him, and he was just gone. So... Alice, will you fill this with water so we can fix it? He knows how to do it. What are you worried about getting paid? Isn't this a little extreme? It's just 30 grand. It's not just 30 grand, Max. Alan Cantwell's worth a lot more than 30 grand. You don't just leave a fortune behind. Max, you're off the job. I'm taking the girl. What? Bill kidnapping? Come on, get a grip. Max. <laughs> Got it! 
Sorry, Max. Oh, they're coming. Max! Max! I'm okay, I'm okay. No, you're not. Bill, why are you doing this? Just start moving. We're gonna take a little ride. No one is going anywhere. Drop the gun. Drop the gun, please. Who is this? I don't know. Danny Wong. I'm a little police. Retired. Get out! In the car. Alice's mom hired me to shadow you. You've been, you've been shadowing us? You two have made the last couple of days very interesting. And you set us up? Bill. Hands behind your back. That was a nice move, by the way. Where'd you learn that? Um, the YMCA. Cops will be here soon. Then I'll get you on your way. Thank you. I can't believe my mom hired you. The next cop. Yeah. We stole that car. Sorry. Maui are sold out because of Christmas, so the best they could do is the four o'clock. Oh, looks like we have a couple hours to go. Yeah. I gotta finish up and take a shower. Okay. Nate Spencer speaking. Hello. I need to run a house. Okay. I'm looking for a two bedroom with a pool. Yeah, no problem. Great. I can be in there an hour. Okay, let me get your name. My name? Uh. Mrs. Green. Great. Perfect. I'll see you at 1230. Okay. How you doing? Good. Just texting. I have 62 messages, 18 from Rudd. I've never gotten a text in my life. Well, someday I'll have to text you. Yeah, I really like your house, Max. It's really charming. Thank you. You know what I was thinking? Since we have a couple hours to kill, how would you feel about going Christmas shopping for your mother? Not good. Why? Because I have a better idea. What? Giving a makeover. What? You want me to trust you, right? Uh-huh. Well, now it's your turn. Trust me. Stand up straight, gotta look a certain way. Say all that you want me to say. I don't see what we have in here. How many smiles can I break before you have to break away? You know I aim to please But I think I know who I am Now I know it's my time to fight Don't worry, not looking orange I don't recognize myself. You are hot. Think so? Check it out. Perfect. Look, we gotta get going. We have to be at the Alamona Business Center by 1230. That's where Nate works. No way. What's going on? The three of us are getting coffee. 
Alice, we can't just drop in on him. I made an appointment. I see what you're doing, and it's not going to work. You love him, so let's stop talking and get going. Feeling fun. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Stop it. Touch me a lot. They like that. I was married to the guy. Well, you're not anymore, so don't mess up. Actually, uh, it's not possible. I have a 12:30 with a Mrs. Green. She's the. Max. Hi. Hey. Jeez, you uh, look. What are you doing here? Well, we were going for coffee, and Max said this was your office, and that we should ask you to come with. You did. Well. Yeah, unfortunately, I have a twelve thirty. No, you don't. Mrs. Green. Guilty. <laughs> it's okay, Nate. If you don't want to come, I totally understand the whole um, ice princess thing. And what you heard me talking to Dr. Claire that. Uh, Part about the moving on. Ah, oh. yeah. Um, excuse me. What is with the negative? Eyes? He doesn't want to come. Well, get your heart on. So, coffee. <laughs> sure, why not? It's pathetic. Uh, let me get my phone. Thank you. That's really good. That is so bad. I'll be back in an hour. Mind her own, huh? Yes, she does. Just like you, Max. Speaking of you, wow. <laughs> what happened? Um, I spent 48 hours with a teenager. And I realized I've been behaving like a teenager. Just self centered and selfish. No, you're not selfish, Max. You've just been protecting yourself. Nate. But losing Penny was the hardest thing I'll ever go through. I know. That pain will never really go away. I so I get it. I know. I I have caused you so much pain. What? Wait. Is that what you think? No. I don't blame you, Max. Hey, what do you think? <laughs> you look like a rock star. Good to see her acting like a kid to try so hard to be an adult. Yeah, she just wants to feel safe. How's she feel about seeing her mom? Every time I mention her mom, the wall goes up. What do you think? Bitter custody dispute. She doesn't know if either of her parents have her best interests in mind. She's just preparing to be disappointed. She trusts you, though, Max. Yeah. It's going to be hard saying goodbye. Hey, someone write this down. No matter where you go in the world, shopping, it's still shopping, and I love it. <laughs> Excuse us a minute. Excuse us. No problem. So how's it going out there? Uh, I don't know. Good, I guess. You could scoot your chair a little closer to his. Yeah, I was thinking about just sitting in his lap. Perfect. Let's save it for dessert. And he got the floss again. Really?
Uh, hey. <laughs> so, how about a little uh, ice cream, I was oh, thinking. Oh, I love ice cream. Uh, uh, chocolate? Yeah. Chocolate or vanilla? Yeah, I want everything. <laughs> Hi, uh, we're ordering ice cream. Yeah, I'll have whatever you're having, but I just got to take care of something. We'll be back in a few minutes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and she's gone. So what kind? What kind? Too. Nervous? Not really. Why are you so intense? I don't know. Rudd? No. I love Rudd, but... Something's going on. Can't I just live with you? Alice, if Fred likes me, if you've got enough room, think about it, Max. When you were meant to have a 14-year-old daughter, if I can be her, it'll be perfect. I can be a bitch, but I'm gonna change. This isn't about you changing. You already have a mother. I don't want her. I want you. I can't be that for you. Hi. 
I'm Max, Maxine Carter. Hello, I'm Naomi. Please, come in. Do you have some paperwork for me? Yes, I do. Okay. I just sign anywhere on the bottom. You have a beautiful home. Thanks. Did my dad pay for it? No. I've never gotten anything from your dad. You got your freedom. That's not exactly what I was looking for. Look, if you want to talk about the custody of oh, I, I would love I'll to pass. pass. Okay. Uh, can I see my room? Yeah, it's down the hall. It's a little bare, and I figured you'd want to decorate it. But Alice... I don't know what you've been told. I don't know what you believe. But I have tried so hard. Down that hall. Yeah. Excuse me. I'll, I'll talk to her. Mom seems nice. Well, at least this room has potential. Right. I want you to try, Alice. Thanks for everything, Max. Package delivered safe and sound. You're off the clock. be back in 10 minutes. thoughtful gift. This is about money. This is about turning your daughter into a mule. I don't owe you an explanation. You almost got us killed. Sorry. Now, can I have my diamonds? Stop! No! What are you doing? Are you crazy? I'll throw the rest of them if you don't start talking. I've been converting my assets to diamonds for months, sneaking them out of Macau. How can you two run? The Chinese came. They seized everything. If I kept that key on me, they would have gotten that too. So what, you escaped? I was going to explain this all to Alice at the right time. Stop. I want to know everything. It was an ugly divorce. I was angry. My lawyers got me an airtight deal, full custody. Naomi would never see her daughter again. Alice thinks her mother abandoned her. Seemed easier. I believe that you love your daughter, Mr. Cantwell. She needs to know the truth, and she needs to know that she has the support of both her parents. Take them. They're all there. The other tube is empty. It's not like I'm going to throw away diamonds. Hello? Max? Naomi. 
Alice is gone. Alice is gone? She must have snuck out. When? I don't know. I will call you back. Do you still have your GPS set to Alice's phone? Yeah. Can you see it? Of course. I'm going to go get Alice and I'm going to bring her back to Naomi's. If you care. Launching solo career Aloha. Wow. Alice, I know you're almost 15. 14, Max. I won't be 15 for nine months. Okay. 14. 16 year old guys aren't all that reliable. Who is? try to be. I saw your father today. My father? He's here. Dad Naomi's waiting for you. No, I have to tell you something first. Okay. Your father... When your parents got divorced, your father was so bitter that he had his lawyer strip Naomi of all her visitation rights. You get it? It was impossible for her to ever see you. I thought that she left. She didn't want me anymore. I know. But my father, he would do that. He regrets it. daughter is gone but Naomi still has you give her a chance to be your mother again okay okay Max if you say so come on let's go Baby, I am so sorry. Wish I could do it over again.